51. Well, news breaking this morning that um, the view of our harbour in Auckland uh, will be drastically changed if plans go ahead for an expansion of the ports of Auckland. Uh, they plan to add the equivalent of 16 Eden Park number 1 fields to its container wharfs uh, and will dominate the harbour and the waterfront and be altered forever. Well, these plans sort of just seem to have come out of nowhere. Uh, a lobby group has been set up uh, or have um, have set up a campaign to uh, get people motivated into thinking about this and what we actually want for our harbour in Auckland. Alex Sweeney from Heart of the City joins me this morning. Good morning, Alex. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Now, it wasn't so long ago we had you on the show um, celebrating some of the opening up of the of the the port area that is uh, you know the Winyard Quarter. Then we had you back on saying, "Oh, things are going to be changing there." The, you know, in the draft plan, there was all kinds of plans for that area as well. And now we find out that the ports of Auckland want to expand, Alex. Yeah. Well, uh, no, there's no big secret about this. Back in 1989, the area around the ports was designated. In other words, but just protecting the land for potential expansion. The thing is that um, since the formation of the super city, they've been charged and they've gone out and they've done a spectacular job in a very short period of time developing up the Auckland plan. And within the Auckland plan is a waterfront plan and a city centre master plan. And they've gone and embedded a lot of the ports language, ports of Auckland language in there. And uh, as you would expect, the ports of Auckland have got to look after the ports of Auckland. Um, and they have, they are, they've got the, some quite voracious demands on some, on a, on an expanding footprint to support the sort of container growth they're projecting over the next 20, 30, 40 years. Right. And so, you know, we we looked at these plans and we thought, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, New Zealand has over-invested in ports infrastructure. Is this what Aucklanders want? So, well, when you say plans, Alex, well, I mean, were they plans, you know, drawn up that people can go along and see, you know, in a in a nice graphical way? Well, the plans have got a lot of wonderful pictures about how we'll handle Hobson Street and Key Street and so on and so forth. But when it came to the ports, I must admit they were pretty crude crude um, line drawings. And many could look at them and think, oh, well, you know, that's the port, that's the port. But it's just when you drill down a little bit, you think, whoa, that's a substantially larger footprint than what they currently operate on. So we then took it a step further and we developed them into um, uh, into the images, the same sort of images that appear for other parts of the city, like how we all treat, you know, Nelson Street, right. how we all treat Victoria Street. And those images show, when they're done to scale, become quite alarming. They say, well, you know, they, they're an ex- they take a lot of view shafts. They, they really cramp the city out there in the east. You so, think we've got a lot of containers there now. You wait until, um, we, at the moment, 890,000 containers. They're planning for 3.5 million containers. now. So I'm, 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 that, I'm looking at these images now. So let's say hmm. you were standing on Queen's Wharf and uh, looking, trying to look out towards, say, um, North Head. What do you see? Well, you mo- won't see North Head. You won't see North Head. Okay. No. Right. You, won't, you, won't, you won't be able to see down the harbour to Browns Island. Someone rather unkindly said, and someone could say I'm unkind for repeating it, but I did, did smile. They said, they're turning the Waitamata Harbour into the Waitamata River. Uh, yeah. So it's basically <laughs> and, uh, narrowing the channel. Oh, dramatically. And, right. and so what we're saying is, look, look, please, we are not against the port, and we're certainly not against the economic growth of the city. Mm. The ports are a vital part of that. We all know that. And they're clearly going to have to grow. We're a trading nation and a trading city. But, you know, there are some corollary effects in terms of that number of containers, that many, that amount of rail traffic, that amount of container traffic on our roads and so on and so forth. A lot of infrastructure investment required there. A lot of, a lot of investment required by the rate pass mm. and the dredging. And so what we are saying is, well, you know, let's, let's look at this in the, in the starkest way and say, at this planning stage, as, we, as we're about to approve the open plan, is this what we want on our waterfront? And this is the only option we've been presented. And I'm to be convinced, and many others are to be convinced, that that's as good as it gets. And perhaps the ports just, they're smart. They should be tested. We should say, guys, it also says in the plan that you will continue to work largely on your current footprint. Right. Well, 
Well, let's see you do that. <laughs> let's now, see you do that before you go and add 16 rugby fields to it. But, but okay, if you're not going to, um, you know, I mean, what are the op- other options? Because if, if you can't expand out, then you have to expand up, right? Well, you have to work better on the current footprint. That, that's one of the congestions. But you, one, you, one, I mean, one, you, one thing you go down there now and it's chocolate block with, with, with containers. I mean, how well, could they work better? Well, no, it's not. There's a lot of loose fill on bladders flow. There's a, there's a lot of parked cars on Captain Cook Wharf. Hey, here's another, here's another one for you, not just the views. If they're going to give us Captain Cook Wharf, they want to build a five-story car park on Bledisloe Wharf to handle the imported cars. Now, Aucklanders, Auckland Council, is really, is that as good as it gets, building car parks on our wharves? Hmm. So surely this is the time for us to say, just put our hands up and say, listen, there's got to be more than one plan here, Aucklanders. Let's test the ports and let's ask them. Underpinning everything is we want them to be successful. So, so you, you, well, that's right. I mean, but, r- rather, but rather not than successful at all costs, right? Right, rather than all the business going down to Tauranga or something like that. But uh, so, what you're saying is that if people don't have their say, then this is just going to roll on and happen no matter what. You know, listen, our grandparents gave us a four lane harbour bridge when we needed eight. Our parents gave us a. Um, an ATS centre when we needed an opera house, you know. And once again, just incrementally, death by a thousand cuts, we will go and give our waterfront away to stacking containers. Is that what we want? Mm. So, you know, here is a once in a generation chance with the Auckland plan, and we're challenging the ports to come up with a better plan, and we're beseeching of council, the mayor and the council, say just to say to the port, we own you. We know you're smart enough. We know you're important enough to our economy. Come up and give us a couple of different options that don't go and have this impact on our harbour. Okay, I'd imagine a lot of people seeing these images and hearing hearing this um, interview would be concerned, but I guess a lot of people don't have the time to go through submissions and, and do all these sort of things. Uh, yeah. Is there a more basic way to take part and have your say? Yeah, just go to our Facebook, Facebook your port, your call, and um, just put a like on there, have your say. Go to the Herald website, vote, and um, and will the council? It's irresistible. It, it has to listen to the the view of the people on this one here, and um, it'd be foolhardy not to. Okay. And, and and we aren't asking council to do much here. Just stop. Listen. Put stop, your hand up. Stop. Listen. Stop. Drop and roll. <laughs> yeah. And 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 see if there's another way through, a smarter way through. Yeah. There yeah. has to be because look at those images. They just they kill you. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Uh, your port. Your call uh, is the campaign and. As Alex says, uh, you can do a search for on Facebook for that and come up with it. There's also a Twitter handle as well. We can crank up the conversation, which I guess needs to happen. Alex, we really appreciate your time this morning. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thank Alex, you. Alex Sweeney from um, Heart of the City here on Kiwi this morning. Time now is 7.